Prima Fase, it looks like it's the past that is catching up with Naresh Goel as of now. Properties including 17 flats, bungalows and commercial buildings globally have been seized, registered under the name of Naresh Goel, Anita Goel and others. So it's a family thing. What ED is saying that Naresh Goelji, uh, you had taken loans from the bank. Right. And how come you sent those money, which ED is claiming that Naresh Goel created trusts in other companies in Jet Airways name for money laundering. So this is one peculiar angle that they have taken. So back in 2019, right. that was the time when Naresh Goel said that, hey, look, uh, I have this money because I've taken loans from the bank and that's why, but I can't pay salaries to the employees through the loan money. So what happened at that time is now this particular money and ED is actually getting back at that same loan amount which now is being claimed that that particular money from the banks was used to create uh, trusts in different countries and that is how the money was basically siphoned off. Jet Airways, uh, uh, you know, had become synonymous to uh, making flying available for the middle class also, yet it used to fly uh, to nearly 65 domestic and international destinations with a number of uh, fleets around 124 narrow and wide body aircraft. These are some of the statistics that tell you that it was not a small company and trust me, the ticket prices were also not so low. But with the arrival of Jet Airways, there was a competition given to Air India. One big reason, you know, that many would say uh, became uh, very instrumental in the downfall of Jet Airways was the entry of even cheaper flights. But Jet Airways, when it found itself in hot waters by 2019, obviously uh, the NCLT declared them bankrupt. So that was the end of it. But then obviously it had a lot of... Uh, uh, flights. It had a lot of aeroplanes standing by. So uh, companies were vying to take over Jet Airways and maybe, you know, rebrand it or uh, refurbish it and then launch it. So one company, Jalan Karl Rock Consortium, uh, basically found mention they were one of the uh, prime bidders. Bhavna, it's interesting, with a figure of 538 crore rupees being seized, 350 crore rupees, almost half of it, in looks like a uh, petty uh, change for me, you know, uh, uh, you know, in that regard. Right. He could have, uh, Mr. Goel could have easily paid that off and uh, stood, steer clear from all this problem.